अपने स्क्रीन पे देख सकते हैं कि हम लैंडर मॉड्यूल some cheering and excitement right now in India. Just a short time ago, the country becoming only the fourth nation to successfully land on the moon. The Chandrayaan-3, which means moon vehicle in Sanskrit, touched down on the moon's south pole, which has not been done before. Just a few days ago, Russia tried to become the first to land at the south pole, but its spacecraft crashed instead. Correspondent Ishan Garg is live in New Delhi with uh, some reaction of what happened. What, what, what's going on? Well, there's massive amounts of excitement here. Even I can uh, not keep my smile in while reporting on this. Several watch parties have been organized all across the national capital and likewise in many other cities of India where people were planning on watching the landing together. It was a very nervous moment for many people watching this landing because of what scientists had described as 20 minutes of horror. They were saying that the final 20 minutes in which Chandrayaan-3 descends and safely lands on the moon, those were the most precarious 20 minutes of this entire mission. But now that everything is done, there is enormous joy all across the country. In uh, Reactions are flowing in on uh, X.com, formerly known as Twitter. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has uh, made an address to the people of India saying that this is a historic, unprecedented moment. And he has also taken this opportunity to say that in India's uh, sh uh, shot doesn't stop at the moon, that India is going to send more probes to study the planet Venus and also a probe to study the sun as well. So this is just one step, according to the prime minister, in India's bigger space ambitions. So Ishan, why the moon? Why is the spacecraft going up there and how long is the mission? Well, this was an unmanned mission, and uh, the reason why a moon was chosen, because uh, the south pole of the moon, particularly according to scientists, has uh, holds a lot of secrets that they want to uncover, especially finding out if there is water on the moon, especially finding out potentially uh, the origins of the oceans, and also finding out how have uh, different uh, meteors, have they impacted the surface of the moon. And this is a particularly special feat, because this has widely been seen as a launching pad for India space ambitions. India wants to use this opportunity uh, to uh, go uh, into a bigger space race uh, with the other countries and hopefully have a, a manned mission to the space in the next two to three years, potentially even going on and having manned missions to the moon and potentially even further down the line to Mars as well. So this has been a testing program in some sense for India, which has bigger space ambitions. After all, the country has allocated nearly $2 billion to its space program every single year to make uh, its, uh, its ambitions a reality down the line. All right. Scripps Foreign Correspondent Ishan Garg, live from New Delhi. Thank you.